Okay, this is video two of our three-part series uh, discussing the electromechanical that works in between AutoCAD Electrical and the Inventor Series. The first video we done was on AutoCAD Electrical. This is the second part, which will focus on the Inventor application. So let's maximize our Inventor and let's get to work. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our connection. Um, if you've watched video one, we've already created the connection using AutoCAD Electrical. We need to come in an Inventor, and we need to tie that connection to Inventor. So we go to the Electrical Mechanical. We do the link setup under. And from here, we have two options. Um, if we were working backwards, we could have created the file from here, but we've already got one created. Really, what we need to do is we need to link in. So we're going to link this. Um, I've already got the path, and there's our link file from AutoCAD Electrical. We're going to choose open. We're going to give it a few minutes to read what it's done. It's opening that file up. It's deciding the electrical project that it belongs to and the file that it's going to continually work with. Uh, once again, if you watched video one, we talked about this conflict resolution. Since we're doing electrical design, I'm going to let AutoCAD Electrical be the uh, preference product. So we're just going to hit close here. If this location view didn't open up for you, you could. Some cases it won't. All we would have to do is um, select the tool from our browser. If we go down through here, this is going to look similar to what we've seen on the AutoCAD electrical side. This is by installation location code, which is what identified in the electrical. I'll leave all of them active at the time, and I'll go down to cabinets. We do see um, uh, icon differences here. So what we see is we see the electrical devices are the circle with the lines by it, and the box is a mechanical device. This lets me know that these devices have already been um, paired together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a component such as the M6, which we don't have a 3D file for, and I'm going to assign one and put it in here. Um, we had talked about how they both or share the catalog browser, so all I need to do is simply right click here, and I can say insert from that catalog browser. There is the uh, motor starter that we inserted or uh, that we used on the electrical side. So I'll select it, get an icon up here, and I'll pull that file off. Okay. You should notice now that there will be a link in between them. That, that tells me that there is a link between the electrical and mechanical. We do have a small question mark there. The question mark uh, lets me know that I haven't identified the wires yet. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we can connect an existing device that's already been placed in our assembly and tie it to uh, electrical component. So CAP6, let's uh, CAP6, we can select and we can say assign to an existing assembly, make sure that CAP6 has been identified, and now they are tied together. And we can go down, I believe I've got plug jack, right click, and assign to an existing, and I'll select that component. This is going to set us up for being able to do our cable harnesses later on. From here, the next step would be, of course, to constrain our, um, our new motor starter to the cabinet. I'll do that before we come back um, in the next video and start routing. 